Hey everybody, it's your Nightly 90. I am out here in Kihei, Maui. And uh, tonight's topic is humble in relationships. Uh, it's odd because this uh, is the place I got married years and years ago. It's the first time I've been back here uh, since I was married. And obviously I was divorced a few years back. So it has a special uh, memory it holds for me. And, and it actually made me start thinking about a topic someone has been asking me to do, uh, which is talking about being humble in relationships. And this might go a little bit long, hopefully not too long, but uh, I have found in my own relationships, you know, that one and then some afterwards, I find when I talk to other people, there's a certain level of, uh, of difficulty that happens, you know, that, that it comes forth in relationships. And what I think it comes to is when people definitely get to a point where they're not humble in their relationship. And while, while humble is something where you can step back, it's, it's a kind of a swallowing of pride, if that makes sense. So in relationships, we, we all get to these points where we're fighting with the other person. We want to be right. And we get to this place of having to be right so much that we lose the ability to be humble and succeed to our partner in some places. And then we cause massive turmoil and fights and then things split, they fall apart. Uh, this was part of my issue, this is part of other people's issues. So what I would like to urge you to do is when you get to a place where you're in a relationship with your primary person, whoever that other person may be, when you're in a fight, don't always try to be the one that always wins. Sometimes it's good to be humble, step back, know that you're a good person, and swallow your pride and admit your faults. Like, know you're wrong. That's part of being humble, is being able to say, you know what, I might be wrong in this. It's, it's emerging and swallowing of pride, and also, you know, in a sense of also realizing that you're, you can be humble enough to step back and, and not always have to be the one that leads, not always have to be the one that is overbearing or domineering or, you know, uh, disrespectful or rude or whatever it may be. Is, there are places in your relationship where those things do not belong. You know, when you're in that relationship, the person you should be is the person that is best for your relationship. And sometimes not the best for your pride, uh, sometimes not the best for your humbleness. So uh, if you take nothing from this message today, step back and look at yourself when you're in the middle of a heated argument. It's very hard, I agree, uh, but whenever you get to that place, the most progress you can make, the most difference you can make in relationship is be able to humbly step back and say, you know what, I'm wrong. I, I, I apologize, I've been fighting this whole time, but I've been wrong. And there's times I know you know you've been wrong, but you won't let it go because you want to have to win. But the thing is, as a saying by Fabulous years ago is, it's okay to lose your pride over someone you love, but do not lose someone you love over your pride. Share this video with the world who needs to hear a message just like this, because there's someone out there I know needs it. Uh, comment below any ideas or topics, send my way. I love hearing them, I love speaking on them. And as always, good night, God bless, and go Ducks.